Hi, I am Ajay. I am a Microsoft Certified Solution Developer. Today we are going to talk about DI container with .NET Core. So let's get started. Uh, let's talk about the topic first, uh, what we are going to cover in this session. We'll see uh, how we can avoid service duplication while registering them with the DI container. And uh, in addition to that, we'll also see the differences between add versus uh, try add. And uh, if we need to ever need to, you know, register multiple implementation of a single service, how we can uh, do it, you know, effectively or efficiently. And what are those cases and scenarios wherein we uh, want to inject multiple, uh, you know, implementation of a single service. So <clears throat> let's get started. Well, in the interest of a time, uh, I have already created a project, uh, a simple web application, .NET Core web application, wherein I have uh, created a, you know, dummy model class, a person uh, class, and I have also created some services to, uh, to have a look into them uh, so that we can inject them in, uh, in this index.cs page, index.cs.html page. There is uh, nothing fancy in this uh, application. I have just created a few services uh, and inherited them from a, uh, from an interface so that we can uh, see um, how we can inject them and uh, what problem we can face while injecting them. So uh, let's uh, talk through them. There is this I discount strategy. Uh, uh, we have created a single interface which uh, contains a single method apply and we have created three concrete classes uh, one is festival discount strategy wherein we are applying maybe 15 <clears throat> percent of discount on the actual amount that we are passing and no discount strategy you are just you know simple in and out we are not applying any kind of discount in this strategy in premium customer strategy you are applying 10 percent discount and uh, same goes for i validation rule uh, we created an interface <clears throat> I validation rule um, and uh, we created three concrete classes in order to validate um, you know apply validation in our application like validate validate account details uh, we are doing nothing here we are just simply returning true uh, it's just hypothetical example we just created uh, sample classes to just look into DI container and uh, validate personal details and then validate pro professional details so let's start with the injecting uh, dependency in this, uh, you know, index.cshtml.cs class. And let's say we are injecting I, we are expecting here I discount strategy. Okay. And we are injecting it here. So far, so good. And let's inject this service inside this startup.cs method. Uh, we are not going to cover any, uh, you know, .NET Core concept here. Uh, I hope you are already familiar with .NET Core. So this is the method where in we should inject all the dependencies required in our application, like services dot add. And we are not going to talk about the differences between add singleton and add transient or add scoped. Let's go ahead with add singleton. Maybe you can use uh, the same thing with the add transient or add scoped. Uh, let's add a singleton instance of I, um, I discount strategy and we want to apply let's say no discount strategy okay. and uh, let's run our application by putting a breakpoint here it's a simple example right nothing fancy here Here we are and as we can see um, our DI container has uh, successfully injected this strategy and we can see uh, the instance of no discount strategy class here. So uh, let's go back to our you know this uh, injection strategy class or startup.cs class and let's say we are adding again a strategy uh, let's uh, let's say we we want to inject this premium discount strategy premium customer discount strategy okay. 
Okay. Why it's not showing? Let me copy it and then just paste it here. Okay then. So and there are chances let's say we have got 10 or 20 or maybe hundreds of dependencies in this uh, in in an application and maybe we mistakenly uh, you know add um, a new strategy again what will happen in that case and let's uh, let's say there are you know 10 or 20 more services here and we injected it again and now it's with the new instance like festival strategy multiple developers were working on it and they just injected this strategy or maybe by mistake we can say let's see uh, which uh, strategy will get uh, injected in our you know in our class let's see here we are so uh, di container injected the last one uh, the festival discount strategy here you can see the last injected strategy was festival discount strategy so what happened to earlier registered uh, you know uh, service implementations and uh, can we avoid if we added a strategy if we uh, you know registered a service is there any way to avoid adding it again yes that's why they you know microsoft introduced this try add method so if we <clears throat> want to ensure that we do not want to override any existing uh, you know registered service implementation then we can just follow this pattern we can just use this method try add so let's go ahead and see what will happen in this case here we go no discount strategy so when we use um, triad method so you know di container first checks if there are any you know there is any existing strategy or there is any existing service registration exist if so then it avoid adding it again uh, you know to this service collection but here comes the original questions when we used add singleton what happened to existing what happened to earlier registered services let's see uh, did uh, uh, di container you know throw them away or what happened to them so i can show you an example if we uh, we would have injected we would have expected i enumerable of discount strategy you know if we had injected uh, and expected i enumerable of discount strategy we would have seen all of uh, you know all three instances let's see there you go all three instances but in case if we just expect a single instance then it will uh, serve us only the last uh, you know added instance here you can see now let's coming back if we want to avoid you know duplication we uh, we can use try add method but uh, what about if uh, you know there are some other services or maybe we have written some extension method over i service collection and let's say add new services we are passing around this uh, you know services uh, collection and uh, we are adding you know more services to this collection and there are chances maybe other developer forget about you know triad method as we talked about let's say someone forget you know someone forgets about you know using this triad method and uh, you know we are not expecting it as an array what will happen in this case we are not expecting it as an array okay so in that case if we have you know registered an instance of a service here and uh, we are calling an extension method or maybe we are passing around this service collection and in that in that method 
we just uh, you know we just uh, write again service dot add singleton it can override um, our already you know existing implementation so how we can ensure that this is the latest implementation that we are providing here so in that case we can ensure by first calling remove all if there is any instance of this i discount strategy and then we can ensure okay this is the final instance that we are injecting for this service if you want to make sure that you know uh, if someone has uh, injected or forgot to you know use triad method then we can ensure by removing all the existing instances and then we can call triad or maybe you know add singleton <clears throat> Now the example that we already seen that you know if we uh, if we had uh, you know expected multiple instances if we had expected uh, i enumerable of it will serve three instances um, of this i discount strategy but what what are those cases where someone would want uh, multiple instances of a single service uh, well it could happen in case of you know running validation rules uh, in our application let's say we want to add them as and when they are needed so uh, we can expect that you know uh, here is this i validation rule and we expect i enumerable of i validation rules in our application and we can just iterate through them and we can call this validate method against each one of them so this is the case wherein we can expect multiple instances of a single service and uh, that's where uh, you know it will be handy to pass multiple instances and to expect i enumerable of um, of a specific um, you know service but still uh, there are chances that you know we can duplicate and we can add instances uh, twice let's say we are deliberately adding twice as though we are expecting i enumerable of uh, this i discount strategy but we are deliberately adding some duplicate uh, registering duplicate instances let's see what happens in this case and is there any way to avoid multiple registration of a single service even though we want to register multiple instances but we do not want to duplicate the effort we do not want duplicate instances of registrations so how uh, can we remove duplicate you know registrations here as you can see that uh, here are the repeated no discount strategy uh, appearing twice and here is this festival discount strategy so is there any way so we do not want to repeat them in a for each loop again and again if we have uh, run uh, you know uh, no discount strategy or maybe validation rules once we do not want to repeat it again so uh, how we can avoid this so there is this method uh, that we can use in order to avoid you know duplicate uh, registration uh, there is this method services dot add triad enumerable just we just need to pass service descriptor instances here and let's just say service descriptor dot singleton and then i discount strategy and then let's pass no discount strategy so uh, we just need to use service descriptor and the method what we want to use here so let me repeat all the things and let's say we are passing twice we are passing festival strategy so we passed four times no discount strategy one premium or maybe let it pass twice let's commit this code so whenever we need to pass <clears throat> multiple instances of a single service and we just uh, we also want to reveal our intent you know deliberately that uh, uh, we want uh, multiple instances of this service we can use try add enumerable method wherein you know anybody can come in and understand okay here uh, is the special case wherein we want multiple instances of a single service and still can avoid duplication of uh, registrations so let's go ahead and see. There we are. Simple. It injected only three instances distinctly. 
Um, there is one more method in the in DI container that we can use, uh, which is replace uh, to replace um, already existing service instance, uh, but it only replaces first uh, occurrence of that service. Uh, let me uh, show you. Let's say we are injecting service. Uh, Add singleton i validation rules and let's say we are using i validate account details mm, validate account details okay and now let's say we want to replace this uh, and let's say we have got we deliberately registered two times and there is this replace method replace method can replace already existing you know registration of this i validation rule service descriptor we need to pass service descriptor instance dot singleton and let's say we want to replace i validation rule with the um, professional details but what it will do it will only replace it will only replace the first registration let's see how let's um, how we can see this um, let's say we expect i enumerable of i enumerable of i validation rules to see how many instances we get um, validation okay um, let's run it so let me show you what we did we deliberately added or registered this uh, two instances of this i validation rule Validate uh, account details, validate personal details, and then we replaced. We use replace method. Uh, if there is any existing, uh, you know, registration for this I validation rule interface, we are replacing it with validate professional details. So as I already <clears throat> shared with you, that replace method only replaces first registration of a service. So and uh, now we are going to see it. And then we'll talk about uh, that. What's the use of this replace method if it is going to replace only one instance or first instance? So it should show validate account details. It should in inject validate. Uh, it it should replace validate account details. So it has replaced validate account details with professional details and then personal details. Here are only two. Uh, services injected how because this uh, account details replaced with professional details and then personal details will remain as is so uh, validate professional details and personal details let's see validate personal details and professional details uh, now what's the use of it you know sometimes um, as we all know that dotnet core <clears throat> inherently support <clears throat> supports uh, you know logging and uh, uh, some uh, third party extensions or maybe we can inject the dependencies here so logging is inherently supported by di container or maybe some kind of uh, uh, authentication thing uh, so uh, in that case we want to replace the existing logging uh, infrastructure that is provided by the dotnet core uh, we can use this replace method to replace the existing provided services to with our uh, you know with our custom uh, written code so this is where this replace method comes handy um that's it for this session i guess that's all i had for you thank you bye bye